In a world filled with constant stimulation and endless distractions, there exists a profound beauty hidden in the simplicity of an often overlooked emotion. Boredom. Boredom, often dismissed as an unwelcome companion, actually gives you a chance to really start on a blank canvas. It's just waiting to be painted by our imagination and us as creatives. It's probably the most beautiful thing we could have in life. It's in these quiet moments that our mind is free to wander and spark new creative ideas. So this has then turned into a little experiment which I've been wanting to try. Seven days of, you know, embracing the boredom. So that's what I want to do and I want to see how it would affect the way I would think and how I would kind of start creating new ideas. And then we'll just see how it actually unfolds and see if being bored, it really is beautiful and is a new way of getting over that creative block, which I come across quite a lot. So maybe this is the way to get over it. So um, on with the, uh, on with the beauty of boredom, you know? Let's embrace it. All right. Doing the mundane tasks of just everyday life, you know, folding, folding your stuff, and just gets you thinking because you ain't got nothing else to do. So, yeah. Something which I did notice is that being bored isn't just about just sitting around and doing nothing. Uh, you know, it's kind of just doing like the mundane tasks of everyday life. You know, whether that's washing up, uh, cooking dinner, um, going for walks, you know, just kind of embracing the slowness and, you know, just kind of taking your time with everything where your mind can wander. I find I find my brain kind of wanders off uh, quite a lot when I'm doing the washing up after I've eaten. Even when I'm cooking, I come up with those different ideas. But obviously it's just the habit of actually creating these, you know, create, creating these, uh, these videos. Knowing like you just start watching something, like I've just been watching the bear, right? And now I kind of feel like I, I can chef it up, you know, just spill the spice and all that kind of thing. Yeah, I'm heavily influenced, very, I get influenced very easily, but nothing bad, nothing bad, kids. So after the first day of doing nothing, I sat on the sofa and I actually looked at my phone in like the first five minutes. As soon as I just had nothing to do, that was kind of like the habit. It was, I'm gonna go on my phone and just doom scroll. Obviously I realized that and I put the phone back down, but honestly, that's really bad. It's like we want to be stimulated and so that's why people go on like these detoxes and off social media. It's not a bad idea. As we embrace boredom, we rediscover the lost art of wonder. Simple activities, once considered mundane, transform into magical experiences when seen through the lens of a bored mind. So the next time you find yourself engulfed in boredom, remember that within its embrace, lies a world of untapped beauty and potential. So once again, as I always say, go create, but really take your time to be bored and really come up with some brand new ideas which will spark the creative spark which sometimes you can miss. So I'll see you guys in the next video with my new spark, go create.